Alice, it's Chris. Can you hear me? I can get it out, don't worry. Look what happened. Are you hurt? Brooke was there. She was beside herself. She found him dying. Found him? Hello. This woman is a murderer. <laughs> Enough! You're making a spectacle of yourselves! Oh, I'm sorry, but feelings are running a bit high at the moment. I understand that, I guess you get that when you associate with murderers. Ah, leave it. Nice try, Alice, but no one is ever going to believe that I killed Ethan. I was the only one who cared about him. I loved him. You're obsessed with him, but he didn't want you. No matter how much you be. Shut up! Lay off, both of you! The truth hurts, doesn't it? I know the real truth, and you are not going to get away with trying to blame me for this. Well, if I needed confirmation, I guess I've got it. You've still got me. Small consolation, I know, but I am 100% beside you. I know, thank you. We should probably get back to work. All right, um, well, I will get the bill. Hey, I'm fine. That's $35. Hi, I'm Anya. We met yesterday. Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, you know. Keep the receipt. She's quite pretty, isn't she? In a Pollyanna kind of way. Honestly, if she's that desperate for money, she should sell her body, not rent out her uterus. She's not doing it for the money. She's helping out another couple. She shouldn't. The world's overpopulated as it is. I mean, if people can't have kids, tough luck. They need to suck it up and look at the bigger picture. Well, I think Morgan would disagree with you. Oh, I bet she would. Look at the big, fat check she's going to be getting at the end of it. She's not getting paid. Oh, come on. What right-minded woman would put their body through that kind of hell if it wasn't for the cold, hard cash? She's getting paid expenses, that's it. Well, then she's stupid as well as selfish. You're wrong, because Morgan is neither of those two things. I found you. Yeah, you did. I just wanted to check you were all right. After you checked, Brooke was. Alice. You've made it crystal clear whose side you're on, so go back to her, I don't give a stuff. I'm not on anyone's side. You let her move in with you. Well, she's got no one else. And this shouldn't affect our friendship. We're mates. We'll always be mates. Actions speak louder than words, mate. You'll always have my support. Actually, I'm not so sure anymore. About? Whether it was her. She was so sure it was me that killed Ethan. She's hardly going to admit it, is she? Yeah, but she's not that good an actress either. Maybe it wasn't her. Who knows? What's important is that it wasn't you, and that's what we need to focus on. We have to prove your innocence, not her guilt. You're right, as usual. <laughs> How's your mum doing? I think she's even more confused. Fraser's desperate for her to have the chemo. Hell of a choice to make. Yeah. So, what about our future? You reckon we still got one? I've done a lot of soul searching. I think there's hope for us. What about you? I don't want to hurt you again. At least I know I can give you a run for your money. <laughs> I feel stinking. You're making jokes. I'm not saying it's OK, only that I know we're all capable of violence and we can do something about it. Like? Getting professional help. Not just you, both of us. <laughs> you need your head read. Exactly. Well, let's start with an anger management course. Like therapy can come later. Morning. Oh, Tracy, could you do me a favour? If you're after more latex gloves, steal them yourself. No, I really need to visit the little boy's room. Right, well, best not keep the little fella waiting then. Thank you. I'm missing an admission form from Mr. Dillon. One moment, please, while I pull that up on the computer. Hello, oh, hello, hello. What have we here? Bubs and Zed. What on earth is that? A website for expectant parents. <gasps> How very interesting. 
Is there something that you want to tell me? Uh, not me, but Gerald has got some splaining to do. Why would Gerald be interested in pregnancy? Honey, there's only one reason why any man would be online looking at a site called Bubs NZ. Gerald is having a baby. But he can't. He's asexual. <laughs> Clearly he's fallen off the wagon. No. Maybe a friend or someone in his family is pregnant. Uh, my theory's juicier. So who's the most likely candidate? Well, Morgan, I guess. But she's with Hunter. I wouldn't be so sure. He's been seen with someone else of late. Has he? Apparently so. Now, what could have possibly broken them up, I wonder? You don't think... It's circumstantial at best, but if an asexual man can father a child, then a girlfriend can certainly stray. Now, unfortunately, I will have to keep the warnings on file. And I know that stinks, but I have to go by the book. Now, I am happy to reinstate you, but I am required by said book to place you under a review period for three months. Great. Sorry. If that's what has to happen, at least I'm back. Mm, and I'm very pleased about it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Maya. You've had a good look over the paperwork for Ness's bio? Yeah, that was a massive business Ethan was running. He certainly found his niche in the market. Yeah, they were turning over hundreds of thousands of dollars. In your opinion, could Nessus have supplied their orders from the bodies accounted for by the death certificates? Or would they have needed more cadavers? Well, where else would they have got the material from? What, you think Ethan was murdering people to keep up with demand? We now know that Betty Crawford didn't die of natural causes. Initially, we thought Sterling Haldane did the business. But since he was found in the boot of Ethan's car, the answer to your question is yes. Morning. Are you still cross with me? Oh, I wasn't cross. Good, because I realised that I was wrong about Morgan. In fact, thinking about it, surrogacy is actually a good idea. Right. Well, I mean, Morgan, who's clearly born to breed, can have the baby while the parents can work in things. I'm completely supportive of it, as long as they stop it too to ensure zero population growth, it's a win-win. In fact, I might even consider it when I have kids. You, a surrogate. God, no. I'll be the one with the amazing body fighting for the environment while someone else can grow fat and flabby. I must keep Morgan in mind. Anyway, so there's this protest march in two days' time. You have to come with me. What's it for? Uh, more funding for TB research. The drug companies don't want to put money into it because they see it as, like, third-world disease, so there's, like, no profit. It's not really my thing. Hunter? with a good-looking med student on my arm, will be the hottest, most interviewable couple on the march. I mean, it'll be great for my profile. I don't think so. And yours. I mean, it could even re-kickstart your modelling career. I have no desire to model again or go on any march. And you know what else? I have absolutely no desire to go out with someone as shallow and self-centred as you. Pregnant, is she? About five weeks, she thinks. Still very early. Crucial time, though. She wanted to know what kind of foods to avoid, whether or not she should still be working. Her job does involve a lot of heavy lifting. Yes, working in a hospital isn't exactly the best environment to be preggers. But there's no reason why a nurse shouldn't work up until her last trimester. Maya did. Not in theatre, though. Well, that standing around, she'd be a dead cert for America's face. Uh, uh, who are we talking about? Just a patient, an ED. <gasps> who did you think we were talking about? No, no one was just curious. So, we've noticed Bubs and Zed. You've been sneaking around on my computer. Hardly. You left the website up, so. Who is it? Who's what? The lucky receptacle for the Gerald genes. Who have you knocked up? I haven't knocked anyone up. We won't tell anyone, promise. Um. Uh, all right, it's my cousin. Gerald Tippett, that is disgusting. Oh my gosh, no, 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 I'm not the father. Uh, no, well, she's from a very small town on the west coast and she's only 17 and no one in her family approves except me and so I signed up for Bubs NZ so that I could support her via email. Satisfied? Do we believe him? Not as juicy, but makes more sense than your theory. Oh. I'm so relieved that Alice has got her fight back. Well, not literally. Obviously, I don't condone what she did today. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Honestly, sometimes I think we should all have stayed in the Waikato. No gang members or murderers on the orchard. Actually, um, speaking of, 
I've decided to get back with Kingy. You're not serious. For heaven's sake, Tanya, that man nearly had you killed. He risked his life to save me. It was your association with him that put you in danger in the first place. How can you even entertain the thought? He wants to change. Once a gang member, always a gang member. He should have been locked up with the rest of them. Excuse me? Why? Why can't you let that thug go? Oh, well, you can talk. At least Kingy's come clean about his criminal past. What do you mean by that? Kingy is actually a police informant. Yeah. It's thanks to him that the gang was arrested. Well, one good deed doesn't make him a saint. At least he's taking steps to redeem himself. Who are we to say he's not sincere? Exactly. I know he is. Well, I still think you're asking for more trouble and more hurt. I shouldn't have let Alice drag me down to her level. It would have been better to walk away. But the gall of her, trying to turn it on me. She doesn't know who she's dealing with. I'm going to make sure that witch goes down for murder. Hey, hold it a sec. Now, I know Alice. She is no killer. She's not capable of it. Therefore, I am. I must be the murderer. No, I'm not saying that. Yes, you are. The one person who I thought was on my side. Oh, Brooke, I'll move out then if you have so little faith in I me. I don't want you to do that. Hang on. Evening. Is hey. Dr. Freeman here? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, I need to interview you at the station. What about? Some new evidence has just come to light. Sure. I'll do whatever I can to help. You think you might have learned. Web browsing at work has got you into trouble before. Yeah, it's not quite on the same level, though, is it? No. And anyway, I think I've put them off the scent, but it does raise a rather obvious problem. What's that? People are going to figure out you're pregnant eventually. It's inevitable. Yes, it is. So you need to figure out what you're going to tell them. I'm going to tell them the truth. Ah, uh, wrong answer. I'm not going to lie, Gerald. You have to. What if the fertility people find out the truth? <sighs> they won't. They could. The fewer people that know, the better. Let me worry about that when the time comes. So where's the lovely Anya tonight? Don't tell me there's trouble in paradise, Hunter. Never was paradise. Was? Is that in the past tense? Yep. You haven't. Have you broken up with her? We were barely going out. That's not the point. I've just gone and told everyone you guys are back together. Contrary to popular belief in Sophie world, my love life does not exist solely to improve your social standing. But I mean, what's wrong with her? She's a gorgeous, famous eco-warrior. She's as superficial as they come. I want to be with someone who can make me feel better in here. Well, Morgan was a positive influence. She inspired you to get into medicine. Morgan's history. Why did you two break up? It's complicated. Pity. She's a nice girl. Hi. Sorry, I went for a run. No, I'm running late. I'm not complaining. Mum. Oh. I'll be five minutes, Max. That's cool. Evening, Mrs. Jeffries. Good evening. Do you want to come up with me? There's no need to whisk him away. You go and get ready. I want to have a chat with Kingy. Sounds good to me. Five minutes, I promise. Off you go. I've recently discovered that life is very short, so I'm going to dispense with the niceties if that's all the same with you. Go for it. Tanya seems to have it in her head that you're capable of moving on from your criminal past. That's what I want, a fresh start. That's what I want for my daughter, too. I don't want her hurt ever again by you or any of your associates. That won't happen. Tan's is what is important to me, and a new life. Look, I know I've put you and your family through a heap of stress. You don't need any more. No, I don't. Especially with what you're going through with your illness. Having to endure chemotherapy, it's pretty harsh. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. My nan died of lung cancer. I'm oh, sorry. So was I. She was a huge influence on my life when I was a kid. I was pretty gutted when she passed. How old were you? Eleven. I'm not making excuses, but it was part of the reason why I got involved with the gang. What about your parents? They weren't that hot. I was pretty much the only one who spent any time with Nan before she died. That's very sad. She was a great lady. She made me feel important. 
She used to read the paper to her every day and make tea. <laughs> we spent hours playing cards. What did you play? Sweepy. You probably never heard of it. Yes, I have. It comes from the islands. I'm a bit of a dab hand when it comes to the old cards. Yeah? There's a pack over there on the sideboard. You go and get it. I'll show you just how good I am. Traces of DNA were found on the gun. Your DNA. I knew Ethan had it. I've probably picked it up in the past, I don't remember. But I did not fire that gun. Yeah, it's very convenient that you're washing your hands in the sea. Removing gunshot residue, perhaps? I didn't kill Ethan. I loved him. But he dumped you and moved on to another woman. That seems like a good motive for murder to me. No. Alice was a temporary distraction. Just one of Ethan's little games. From what I can gather, Ethan Pierce was a heartless manipulator. He could be very persuasive. But then I've always needed a forceful man to take care of me. Yes. I've seen the tapes, Miss Freeman. You certainly seem very at home in front of the camera. That's because Ethan made me forget all about the camera. I'm sure you could too, Detective. S sorry? Or would you rather we switched it off? Either way, it's fine by me. A beautiful woman like you doing this to herself. You really must have done a number on you. My relationship with Ethan was something you would never understand. I think I get the gist of it. You see it as him being cruel and disrespectful. But for us, it was a journey. Is that what you call it? Some might think the things that Ethan asked me to do were demeaning. But I only saw them as an opportunity to prove my love for him. Pierce was cruel to everybody. Colleagues and business partners, strangers. It wasn't love, it was a brutal character flaw. Your relationship was nothing special at all. Ta-da! I thought you were going out to get a kebab. I did. It's called multitasking. Aren't they amazing? Oh, yes. <laughs> What you paid for them? It is an investment. When Kip sees me in these, the return will be tenfold. Can I just touch them? Try them on. I'll scuff them. Don't be daft. Go on. Scotty would be horrified if he knew that I spent that much money on shoes. That is because Scotty is a heathen. <laughs> well, barbecue too many, I think. I need to learn restraint. Yes, it can be so hard to say no to that last sausage. Exactly. The shoes look great. I never want to take them off. You'll be the talk of the town in those. You and me both, Helen. Why me? Not you, Morgan. Did you see that? See what? The puppies. They were busting out. She could barely do up her top. Really? If that girl is not pregnant, I will eat my shoes. <laughs> I was right about you. You are a crook. You're the one before the pink. Here's your chance to get away while you still got that shirt on your back. Might have to be fish and chips tonight, baby. Your mum just fleeced me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's good like that. You're good, all right. I have a new respect for you. <laughs> I just might be prepared to give him the benefit of the doubt. Thank you, Mum. It has to be him. It's far too coincidental. We don't have anything. Venture your cuppa? Yeah, sure. I got halfway out to the car park and realised I've forgotten this lot. Honestly, my brain has turned to mush. You'll get that. Excuse me. I wouldn't use that. It's off. Is it? Tracy, it's rancid. I can smell it from here. It smells fine to me. You have a whiff. Check it's used by date. Expired two days ago. I told you. You have the most freakish sense of smell. My cousin had the same thing when she was pregnant. She developed this acute ability to smell old food. <gasps> Not that I'm implying that you're... But you are, aren't you? You are pregnant. So, is it congratulations or commiserations? Tracy! What? She might not want it. That's not our business! OK. So is the daddy. Be quiet! The situation's very complicated. Does it begin with a G or an H? Please, don't ask me that. 
of course, we won't. And please, please, don't tell anyone else for now. You have our word. Thank you. Yeah, Morgan. Yes? You might want that. Me and my big mouth. I'm good, really good. And uh, touch wood, I'm over the worst of the morning sickness. I just need those CVS results now. And that won't be till next week? Well, I talked to Dr Benson's nurse today. To see if she could give the lab the hurry up? Mm-hmm. Not too worried, are you? Hey, how'd it go? I don't want to talk about it. They give you a hard time? I'm fine. Well, you know they were just interviewing you as a matter of course, eh? Hey? And how would you know? Well, I spoke to Bill Lamont today. It turns out that Ethan's involvement with Nessa's bio was far more corrupt than we could ever have imagined. Corrupt? How? Well, let's just say he was making his profit at the expense of basic human decency. Look, I don't want to upset you anymore, but I think it's most likely that Ethan was killed by a business associate, someone with as little respect for human life as he had. Could you shut up with your stupid theories? I don't want to hear them. Tell me, what did you say to her? I just told her the truth. About? About what's important to me. You, family. It turns out we have something in common. <laughs> that in a game of cards. Yeah. She's a cool lady, your mum. It's all good. You're telling me the white tails are gone. We're back on track and oh, hallelujah, my mother approves. I just got to get my life back on track. You are, your law degree. The thing is, as long as I stay in Ferndale, I'll always be known as Kingy the White Tail. Oh, that'll change. No, it won't. That perception will hold me back, babe. Maybe even drag me back into my old ways. So what are you saying? I need a completely fresh start. I'm moving across the ditch. Oh, well then so am I. The thing is, every time I look at that beautiful face of yours, I replay the night when I hurt you. We'll do the anger management course. Tans, I'm on a plane tomorrow, and I'm going alone. 